Okay, folks. A go. Amen. All right. A go. Amen. Oh, fantastic. This is a really, really great day. And we're going to have a blacktastic time this morning. Okay. Some people have fantastic times. We have blacktastic times. That's, that's more fun. So we just want to take a moment of silence to give thanks for this day. And uh, I just ask you to just relax, see yourself whole, and um, we're just going to meditate a little bit. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I give all honor, praise, and glory to our Mother, Father, Creator, and to the memory of our great African ancestors, whose shoulders we stand upon, whose backs we lean upon, and whose shoulders have held us up until this day. I give thanks for raising me up this morning. When I say me, meaning us. For raising us up this morning in perfect health and strength, with the ability to see, to hear, to speak, and to be able to stand upright. I ask blessings for all of those who were unable to make it on this trip. We ask blessings for our families, biological and extended. We pray for those who are less fortunate than ourselves. We pray for our enemies, for those who are despiteful use us. For blessed is the man, blessed is the woman, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord God, God is known the way of the righteous, but the way of the unrighteous shall perish. Ashe, 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 Ashe. And we forgive all of those, okay? And we take all negativity out of our space. <coughs> what happened yesterday is over and done, yes. gone. Nothing we can do about it. We have right now. We don't even have tomorrow. We have right now this day. And that's all that we have control of. So we're going to go forward and enjoy ourselves. We're going to keep giving thanks to the ancestors, to the universe, for bringing us safely back home to Mama. Okay? And it does not matter to me what your religious persuasion is, whether it's Jew, Jesus, whether you're Muslim, whether you're an atheist, that has no room in my space. My thing is that I respect whatever it is that you decide to do, as long as it does not infringe upon my space, because I will not infringe upon yours. So right now, we are in Elmina. Uh, the place that you're staying, Itri, is an ancient village. My ancestors out of that village built the Elmina Castle dungeons under the lash of Portuguese. It is no um, coincidence that we as Africans born in America find ourselves geographically situated between two major edifices that held our ancestors, the Cape Coast Castle Dungeons and the Elmina Castle Dungeons. And we are right in the middle. Plus, we're at the center of the earth. Zero degrees latitude, zero degrees longitude. So we know that we're in a perfect place, perfect time, and we take advantage of this. We all on this bus, I'm sure, with the exception of little Bomani, have more time behind us than we have in front of us. So let us be wise and let us use the time that we have to its fullest advantage, to our fullest advantage. Let us be happy. If you feel like crying, cry. If you feel like you want to cuss, take it down to the ocean. Okay. <laughs> you know who I'm sending down there, right? Okay. So the thing is that um, we want to enjoy ourselves because this is a momentous occasion. This is a pilgrimage. Most of us, we're here on vacation. This is not a vacation. This is a sacred journey in which you're on. For those that overstand that, and I say overstand, because overstanding brings us a, into a higher level of consciousness. Understanding, and remember, we have the power to define. So, you know, under is down, is dark, 
So we say we come to a higher level of overstanding. That means coming into a higher level of consciousness. So we take our heads out of the sand. We also refer to ourselves as African ascendants, not descendants, because to descend means to go down once again. We're not going down. We have risen up out of the ashes. We have built America, whether they want to admit it or not. But we have done that. So we are ascending. And our ascension is even higher when we find ourselves returning home to our motherland. Okay. So if you ask who I am or someone asks who you are, I will never say that you're an African American or you know you come from Jamaica, so you're an African Jamaican. No, you are an African first, foremost, and always. You happen to have been born in America. You happen to have been born in Jamaica. And so sometimes people will say, well, you know, well how, do you, how do you prove that? Well, we have two trees. I have a coconut tree and an almond tree. When the almond nut hits the ground and germinates and it grows, to its potential. Is it an almond tree or is it a coconut tree? Anybody want to answer that? It's an almond tree. It's an almond tree. So if our ancestors were taken out of those dungeons and taken across the waters, displaced, when we got to America, the Caribbean, or wherever the hell they dropped us off at, were we not still Africans? So coming out of America, first of all, I'm an amendment to the Constitution. We are amendments to the Constitution because when the Constitution was written, remember, they didn't think about us. They said we were three-fifths of a man. We were animals. And then they decided one day, well, damn, maybe we ought to make them human. And so they amended the Constitution and gave us citizenship. So I'm an amendment, y'all are all amendments to the Constitution, whether you like it or not. Those that love America, love it, okay? I don't love America, I don't hate America, I just don't damn like them, all right? And that's okay, I have my choice of that. So as Africans, and we have to hold on to that, we're Africans, some people say, well, I ain't no damn African. Okay, no problem, but you are. So, and, and the thing that we should think about is that people who can connect themselves to their culture and to their ancestry get so much accomplished. We're the one people that we don't know where we came from, who we belong to, and so we're dispersed, and we've been tragically dispersed throughout the globe. So now we're coming back together. You know, it's like this, um, What's that game, this hologram or something where they have all these colors and the dust and stuff and it all comes back to the center? That's us. We're finding our way back home. So we have a lot to be proud of. And I know that most of y'all that came on this trip, when you told your people that y'all was going to Africa, they thought you had fallen out your tree house. They wanted to know why the hell you wanted to go there. But you are here. You're blessed and you will never be the same person again after this journey, okay? So I want us to enjoy, look around. We ain't doing bad, you know? They said we came here to suffer. Well, I'm suffering because I ain't paying no mortgage and I don't pay no rent and I don't pay no tax and I don't have no credit card bills and I ain't got no car and I don't own no TV. So I'm suffering, terribly, drastically suffering, terribly. My blood pressure is normal, I don't take no medicine. So, so I figure I ain't doing too badly, okay? I could be doing worse. I could be living in America. It's funny. <laughs> with, number, it's funny. with number 45, who's pissing off the world. I mean, it doesn't somebody just piss off the whole damn world. Every country he goes, he pisses people off, okay? But that's what white folks do. So, and, and, and the thing is that white folks are probably going to re-elect this lunatic. Yes, they are. Okay, they're going to re-elect him. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy for America. They're getting what they deserve, okay? But he is not the, he is not the center of our joy. We're just damn glad to be away from him. And hope he don't bring his ass over here to Africa, okay? I don't know. He's a madman. So they don't tell him. He'll probably show up here to say something. 
But the bottom line is that, you know, let's just take the time to love each other, let's laugh together, let's cry together, and let's grow together. That's most important, okay? So if anybody has any questions, feel free. Um, we're going to my school. I'm the vice president of the board of directors for the Acoma International Academy of Arts and Sciences. And um, we're always bringing people here. The thing is, I go back to, we have to be supporting each other. We support everybody else, but we don't support our own, okay? So we have to support what our sisters and brothers are doing on this side. My school has 250 students. None of my students come from America. Okay, so when you say, but well, who are you helping? Excuse me, who are my students? Okay, so I think you enjoy yourself being there, ask questions. We are in the process of doing some renovations and things, there's always need. I give thanks to Bomani and African for the Africans because they come every year, twice a year. They come to our school. They, they are so generous. And so after 12 years of doing this, we're like, uh, we look forward for them to come. Uh, he makes sure that they all get up here to my school because he don't want me to come over there to Atlanta. Snatch up through the telephone. You know? <laughs> But, yeah, um, absolutely. you know, so so every everything is, is good, you know. Um, it may not be, like I told folks, I'm not five star. They tried to give me a star on my hotel. I told them, I don't want no damn stars. Okay, please, just leave me as I am. I'm a drop off the grid. They say they don't have a category called drop off the grid. So, <laughs> so I don't care. I said, fine, but keep the stars, okay. Stars mean um, less money for me like I'm making a whole lot of money now. And um, then they'll raise my taxes. So, you no, know, so I ain't got no stars, honey. I'm the star, okay? Where all the stars come. And where all, right, I'm the star where One Africa is the star where all the stars come. So we don't need no classification to What's your grade? I said, I'm a budget hotel. That's what I am. I'm a budget hotel. I'm a drop off the grid place. So if you want more than I have to offer, then you have to go someplace else. That's and why they built that hotel across the street. That must be why. And trust me, I'm glad he's over there because he don't have what we have. We got the ocean. That's right. We oh, got man. the ocean, okay? <laughs> That's a great advantage. That's a great advantage. <laughs> we got the blessings of the ancestors in there. You know, when you go through those gates, something happens, all right? So I'm, I'm cool with him. Well, some people prefer hot water in a deluxe and room. And some people want hot water in a deluxe room is fine. I don't mind. But I tell you what has happened, which has kind of inspired me small. I am going out this week. You all have to come back for this treat. And I'm going to buy heaters, hot water heaters for all my rooms. Yes. Who said thank you? Somebody back there said thank God. Okay. That's what, that's what, oh, that's what said. What, what about a 55 inch TV in every room? No, 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 no. Okay, I'll tell you what. That, don't push me to the wire. Now, I have capitulated and said, okay. Because some people are like, I don't care if the water ain't hot, but then there's others that are like, I need hot water. I'll heat you up some. Not a problem. But I, I will go out and buy some small water heaters and let people know you have to be cautious of the amount of water that you use. You understand? Because y'all like to stand in the shower and just let the water run, and the water's hot, and it's eating up your oil bill. We ain't, we ain't doing that. So the next time you come, you will have hot water if the creek don't rise, okay? And we have electricity. Because we ain't got no electricity, you ain't getting no hot water, unless I boil it. So y'all will have hot water the next time you come back. No TV, no AC. Okay. What you want? What'd you say back then? So anyway, so I'm gonna I'm do the best to take care of y'all to the best of my ability. I can't do any better than I do because that's all I know how to do. Okay, so don't expect something from me that I can't give you, all right? So just let me love you up while you're here. And I know that I'm probably going to have to put some of y'all out of here tomorrow, which happens all the time. But why did be running around hollering and screaming, Get on the bus! Get on the bus! Get on the bus! 
I said, don't worry about a thing, honey. I got you covered. Okay. We throw you out. And somebody put that Somebody put that on YouTube, you know. They put it on, um, yeah. what's that? Not YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Put it on YouTube and sent me a, a text. <laughs> to my girl, I saw you put people out your place. <laughs> I was like, yes, I did. <laughs> I just put them out. We got other guests coming in. <laughs> and, and I got other guests coming. Y'all got to get the hell out of here. You know what they say when you go to the bar? Um, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here, okay? So, so you ain't got to, you ain't got to leave God, you just got to get out of one Africa and come back at another time. And this way, y'all don't give Bomani a heart attack, okay? Because you see, he'd be running around here, scoot, scoot, scoot. He needs to come back here by himself, <laughs> by himself. Impossible. And, 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 and you heard him. He just talked about it's impossible. We gotta got okay. bring the Calvary. See, if, uh, I tell you what, we might have to tie him down, okay, and make sure that he gets a massage, yeah. give him a smoke, uh -huh. you know, reflexology. I'm here for another week. I'm here for another week. Good, you see, he's gonna be here by himself. I'm gonna get him down here, okay, and we're gonna get him to, to relax. Him. Right, relax his nerves. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Don't let me I, have to come up out to get you. I come for some complimentary massages and complimentary rooms. You got that. I got you covered, baby. Not a problem. So that's the deal. So we are approaching the Acoma Academy, International Academy of Arts and Sciences. Um, the director's name is Shikesha Adu. And um, she's been my sister for years and years. They're out of Detroit, Michigan. And I think we're running into the other group that's here, which is perfectly all right. One thing about One Africa, One Africa joins people from everywhere. You just might run into a friend of yours up here, trust me. It happens all the time. Well, hopefully they're not a mixed group of people, right? Don't get me lying. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. I think they're out of... Um, the University of Georgia or something like that. Oh cool. But you know, yeah. you don't have it you don't really have any control. And one of the things it happens because black people don't have a lot of money. And so some of the groups that come, they'll come like you noticed yesterday, we had all them students. Well their leaders were Africans born in America. They had about four or five, six um, students of color. But everybody else was white. So, I mean, I can't put them out. My thing, as long as you all behave yourself, you just stay. Absolutely. Okay. It's a public place. It's a public place. And, you know, I've got people say, oh, girl, I can't be dealing with them white folks. I said, fine, deal with them. Don't deal with them on your time, not on mine. Okay. Right, right. And as long as they behave themselves, they can stay. Okay. All right. So it's a new university. That's I don't think that there's white folks in this group. So don't nail me to the cross if you get there and find some white people. We'll play nice. Okay. This university is being built by an African, a Ghanaian, named Indu. He has many, many businesses and banks, credit unions all over Ghana. He is now building this university school of business. He has built a stadium here in Elmina. He has about five or six companies. He owns a rock quarry. All of that stuff, TV station, radio station, down the road from me. So he is one of those people that is doing something for his people. But to just show you how disjointed we are, when he ran for president, we didn't vote for him. I don't understand that. But anyway, that's just a little background history <clears throat> on dysfunctional African people in Elmina, in Ghana in all over the world. We are who we are. We do the best with what we got and anything else. And so when we come back, I'm gonna show y'all the meditation. A couple of y'all did it already, don't laugh, okay? We're gonna do a meditation. I'm gonna show y'all how to de-stress yourself. Excellent. Okay? So here we are. Welcome to Acoma Academy. <laughs> 